welcome to the another video and in this one we are going to see how we can host next.js uh, website or next.js app using caddy server okay this is going to be interesting first thing first we need to have this server so i have already created server on the digital ocean so if you, if you haven't created yet uh, you can create on any uh, cloud provider aws line node it really doesn't matter so we first thing we need to copy this particular ip address and in this particular tutorial i am going to use my subdomain to host next.js application so let me go to my dns also so this is my dns and as you can see i have already created record for next.js but ip is wrong right here so let me just go ahead and just replace this ip address because that ip address doesn't exist anymore so once we have the record next thing we need to do is we need to open the terminal so let me open my terminal like make, make it a little bit bigger and and if you are on linux do one thing uh, execute dig command dig next dot one yt dot a okay so that should show the ip address of the our server uh, this is to make sure that you know if the ip address is pointed or not so once that is done you can just clear everything and uh, by the way, let's copy the IP address of the server from here and do SSH login into the server. So SSH root at IP address, paste the IP address and hit enter, enter the password. And once you enter the password, you will be inside this server. So let me just clear my screen. First thing we need to do is apt update. So let me do apt update and it should update the all of the repositories on this server. This is the mandatory step whenever you are you know creating a new server apt update and then apt update are mandatory upgrade okay so for me already updated already updated so let me just clear everything and let's move forward actually okay so first thing we need to do is install the caddy so let me paste the command right here so this is the command to install the caddy i have already installed the caddy on this server so that's why it is asking me to override i will just hit ctrl c but you should continue with the installation process then we need to install node on this server okay so first thing we can install node directly independently on this server but i prefer going with the nvm way because if we install nvm we can switch between node versions or we can have multiple node versions on the same time on same server so that if your website is using node 16 and the second website is using node 15 or 14 something then still we can host those two websites on the same server that's the benefit of using nvm so to install nvm this is the command all of these command is going to be in the blog post so don't worry so once you hit enter it should give you uh, it should install the you know nvm on your system i have already installed so i will not do that and once it is installed we need to make sure that it is uh, uh, this bash src file is sourced so that we will have nvm ready so once that is done we need to do nvm install node command so that will install latest version of the node for me i have already done uh, if you want to install specific version of the node you can just do nvm install list and oh sorry we should do nvm list only so this should give the list of the node versions that you want to install so you can just copy something like this and do nvm install and paste and it should install and if you want to install specific version which is not here then you can do something like 10.2.1 or something like that that will also work okay so for me if i do a node node dash v as you can see node 21 is installed for me so let me clear my screen okay so next thing we need to do is we need to get uh, get the project from the github okay so i have already created sample next.js app for this particular tutorial so i will just hit enter it will clone the repository in this particular path so once it is done i can just cd into that path and if you do ls as you can see the sample project is there if i do cd into the sample and if i do ls as you can see all uh, project files are there next thing we need to do is we need to do npm install so that should install the or node uh, npm packages which are necessary to run the project right then we need to install the pm2 service okay so pm2 is basically uh, similar to serve in the uh, react application the pm2 is used for the serving the you know next.js application and we are installing dash g uh, that means we are installing on the global so let me hit enter that shouldn't take too much time it should be installed shortly so once it is installed 
Next thing we need to do is clear the screen. If I do ls, the node models are there. We need to build the project. So npm run build should build the project and it should create the production level deployment uh, project in the build folder, right? So once that is done, then we can go ahead and we can uh, go with the deployment of the project. So as you can see, it is creating optimization production build compile successfully and I don't know some kind of things are happening here and it is generating static files because uh, you remember that next.js is a uh, you know a framework used by the people because it creates the static files so it makes it much more easier to load website faster right so the everything is created these are the files that are created so if I do clear and if I do ll as you can see dot next folder is there so that means our build process is successful next thing we need to do is we need to execute the pm2 command on same directory this is the command pm2 start npm dash dash name sample sample is the my project name and start okay so that should start the pm2 process on this right here so this pm2 process can be used uh, using the you know um, you can say the caddy to uh, pipe the website right so if you do pm to ls then you should get something like this if you have multiple processes running that should also show the multiple processes running okay so let's clear everything and let's move to the caddy so first thing we need to uh, you know do cd uh, then paste this particular thing nano slash etc slash caddy slash caddy file where we will be changing the configuration so from my previous tutorial i have added this react configuration so let me just remove the that configuration really quickly uh, and this is the default configuration this is how it should look uh, we can just remove all of this and add your own but i will just keep it that default configuration too and add my own too like next one white dot in this is my domain and reverse proxy and then uh, basically pm2 started a service on the port 3000 so that's why this is 3000 right here okay so here as you can see, I'm using subdomain, but in your case, if you are using the IP address, then you can just mention a colon port 80 right here instead of this. But make sure that you are removing the all of this before mentioning port 80 right here. Okay, so let me hit control S then control X. And next thing we need to do is we need to, uh, we need to restart the caddy server. Okay, so let me just restart the caddy server right here and if i check the status of the caddy server it should say running that's great so let's open the browser right here and go to the next tab and type next dot uh, next dot uh, one yt i think so one yt dot in that's what our domain says and this should show us our website so let's for some time wait some for some time okay okay, okay. It's, it's showing the website okay so it took a little bit small time to load it because my server is, is in other location and my cloudflare account that i'm accessing in other location that's why it took a little bit time otherwise the uh, uh, next day's website is quite you know fast okay so yeah, this is how you can host your uh, next.js website app or some anything related to next.js on the uh, Ubuntu server using the caddy. Yeah, this is how it works. Uh, and by the way, this PM2 that I showed you uh, just a uh, uh, few time, you know, few minutes before, this is the PM2. It has a lot of things in it. If I do PM2 dash H, you will find a lot of things are there. We can mon, mon it is there, right? So this is the useful command actually. If I do PM2 days, it should show how many memory is being used, what is the CPU, and that stuff, how many processes are there, the logs and etc. etc. So if I do a refresh right here, uh, nothing happened. Okay, we should need some load on the server. Uh, and basically all of all of the statistics are here. And it's quite helpful. Not only that, there are a lot of things in the PM2. You can just go ahead and explore by yourself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically this is how you can host the Next.js application, Next.js website using Caddy Server. So that's all for this one. See you in the next.